On today's program, we're going to offer you items to continue your Lenten journey and also to begin to prepare to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello, everyone, and welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog Program. I'm Johnette Williams, and I'm delighted to be with you today. We're going to continue to move forward as we sojourn towards Easter Sunday, and we've got beautiful, beautiful holy reminders and resources for you to make this the very best Lent that you have ever experienced, and also to begin your preparation for Easter Sunday. I'm joined here on set for our program today by Ryan Penny, and we're delighted he's here, too. I'm delighted you're here, I'm Ryan. I'm always delighted to be here. <laughs> Here, Jeanette. <laughs> well, we always have such a nice time together, uh, having holy conversation in the midst of presenting all of these very beautiful items that we have. And we do have some very uh, colorful and bright holy reminders to show everyone today. I know. To help I really everyone like get it. in the mood for the upcoming Easter season. Absolutely. And it is hard to believe, friends, but we are less than a month away from Easter. If we haven't exactly followed our Lenten resolution so far, now would be a very good time to start over. And just remember, the most important part of Lent is not giving up chocolate or a favorite TV show. It is that we prepare our hearts for Easter. So today, we have several items for Lent and for the coming Easter season. And we're going to begin with some of the ones that are right here. And we're going to regale you with some of these bright items items that Ryan was talking about. First, I want to show you something. We have a new St. George glass Fabergé style egg. Now, St. George is a third century saint who was a soldier in the Roman army. He was martyred because he wouldn't renounce his Christian faith. This clear glass Russian egg was hand blown and etched with the image of St. George. It measures four inches high, and it is quite lovely. I want to show you, you're seeing the front of the egg there, mm -hmm. which uh, has St. George on it. But then I want to show you that also the back of the egg is etched, and it is beautifully, beautifully designed. Lovely piece to have in your home. It's uh, a piece that I would probably put in my break front mm -hmm. uh, and show it off all year long again. Uh, in addition to being something lovely to look at, it's inspirational because it reminds us of a great saint who gave his life for our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we have several new items here for you, too, that I want to show to you. Here is a set of six assorted Ukrainian Paisanki Easter eggs. These colorful wood eggs have been hand-painted in the Ukraine with traditional folk and religious symbols. St. Augustine once described Christ's resurrection from the dead as a chick bursting from an egg. This set includes six eggs of assorted colors. And uh, when you see these, uh, and I'm sure you're picking up some of this from the camera shot, but when you look at these uh, in person, you can see the beautiful detail that uh, is, is presented on each one of these eggs. They're lovely to sit around in a bowl like this or to adorn uh, just every here and there uh, on the table when you set your Easter table. And it is something that you will treasure and your children will treasure as well as you pass it on to them. Have you ever seen these items like this before, I've Ryan? never seen Easter eggs that look quite like that. No. I'm You've not. never painted any like this? <laughs> oh, I've painted some. It's been a while. <laughs> Maybe I should get back into that uh, this Easter season. What do you say? Well, I think it would be a great idea. I do know that a lot of people practice this kind of artwork. Uh, it's very exquisite to look at. And we've got other Easter baskets with mm. eggs in them as well. So let me show you these two e uh, Ukrainian Easter baskets uh, with resurrection icons. The icons are on the front of each basket. These two separate sets of hand-painted uh, eggs are Ukrainian in origin. Each of these sets includes three eggs and a miniature resurrection icon, all in a small basket. So here's the basket. There are the eggs. The icons are on the front for you to look at. Each egg measures approximately two and a half inches. And again, like the uh, six that we showed you that come as a set, uh, these baskets and icons and eggs come as a set. Uh, another way in which you can begin to prepare for the Easter season. Ordering them ahead of time is 
necessary so that you've got them on hand uh, when that great feast day rolls around. We also have another set with smaller Ukrainian eggs in an Easter basket, and this is just absolutely precious. As a matter of fact, I can see this little set sitting inside of an Easter basket that you prepare for a child. This bright green Easter basket contains five small wooden Ukrainian eggs. Each egg measures one and seven eighths inches, and the basket measures five inches high. It is a precious little uh, gift item, as I say, and one also that I think you can use in various places of your home. Um, that was an interesting little fact about St. Augustine possibly being the one who is behind Easter eggs being painted and given as treats on Easter. You know, it wouldn't surprise me because he's just such a great saint. Yes, he is. Yeah, that's, re that's really cool. I don't know that story. I never heard it before either until we uh, had someone do some research for the program. But yeah. uh, interesting. And you've got eggs too. Yeah, there's even more to show today. So back by popular demand, we have religious egg wraps. Take a look at these. This, is a, this would be a great activity for you to do with your children or grandchildren at Easter. Each set includes seven plastic wraps for decorating Easter eggs. They're so easy to use, just slip a cool boiled egg into the wrapper. A quick dip in boiling water and three seconds later you're done. There are two sets available, one featuring our Blessed Mother and the other with various icons. And since this is a seasonal item, we have only limited quantities available. You know, I love Eastern iconography. The Eastern Church is just so beautiful, and um, these, you know, what a great way to, if you, like me, have gotten away from uh, painting Easter eggs, this would be a great way um, to start up that tradition again. Yeah. I really yeah. like this idea, uh, first of all, because it does involve the family and can involve the family in mm -hmm. making this a, a beautiful tradition that can be started. But additionally, the wrappers are gorgeous and the they colors really are. are so rich and so beautiful. And as you're moving through that activity, it can be a teaching time. You can be talking mm. to your children about the images that are on the eggs and the way in which they can... Uh, grow from from what they see it would also be lovely for parents to do just a little bit of research on icons and you yeah. could talk a little bit about what an icon really is they're evangelizing eastern easter eggs that's exactly right for ease yeah they're quite lovely very cool mm -hmm. next we wanted to show you uh the holy mass association rosaries take a look. these really are beautiful rosaries they feature special Holy Mass Association crucifixes. Each rosary features eight millimeter double capped beads with double capped pearl Our Father beads. And each one comes boxed with a brief explanation of the Holy Mass crucifix. The first rosary features deep blue glass beads and the second rosary features red glass beads. These really are uh, very striking and they're very beautiful. Yeah, they really are. The, again, you know, I'm commenting on colors a lot today because we've got so much around us, uh, but they're vibrant. Mm -hmm. And the glass really captures the vibrancy. I am drawn to the blue ones, but I would be because of Our Lady. And I think that the red, however, remind me very much of the Divine Mercy. So there's a yeah, lot that you right. can uh, pray about and take into your time of uh, rosary meditation when you pray these beads. Certainly. And now take a look at this great offer from EWTN Religious Catalog. With a simple click on your PC or smartphone, Holy Reminders can be on their way to your doorstep. Now with free standard shipping on orders of $75 or more. From the EWTN Religious Catalog website, buy Catholic, shop EWTNRC.com. What an excellent promotion we have available for you there, so take advantage of it fully. Well, you know, Ryan, I was just thinking, you know what would be great to go with those beautiful rosaries? A lovely rosary pouch. Oh, yeah. And we have many of these available for you out there at EWTN's Religious Catalog. In light of the liturgical season that we're in, we're going to be featuring two today. Uh, we have this one, which is entitled Extreme Humility. It's a tapestry icon rosary pouch. Uh, the front features the icon 
icon of Christ, the bridegroom, also known as extreme humility. We also have the crucifixion icon rosary pouch. This features the image of the crucifixion of Jesus. It is surrounded by Our Lady and St. John. Both of these rosary pouches feature a Byzantine Russian style cross with a dove on the top representing the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to show you the back so that you can see mm -hmm. uh, this Byzantine style cross with the Holy Spirit at the top. Each zippered tapestry pouch is lined with nylon. I'll open it and show you that. And I want to recommend that in addition to keeping your rosaries in here, you see how nicely this is appointed on the interior. Uh, in addition to keeping your rosaries in here, I have found this very, very useful in, in numbers of different ways, especially when I'm packing uh, to move from one location to another or when we are going off on um, an excursion or uh, to a speaking engagement. Ladies, you can put your jewelry in here. You can put rosaries in here. Uh, it's very nice for you to put uh, you know little articles of your makeup in there your powder for example and your lipstick and each time you take something out of it there's a holy reminder that's looking at you mm -hmm. and it helps for you to take a little holy second and lift your heart and your mind to God uh, and to come into union with him so why not have a holy reminder in your handbag gentlemen why not have a holy reminder in your pocket you can even keep your keys here which would be a good thing for me since I'm always misplacing them so uh, these are beautiful beautiful pouches with a multitude of purposes, even though they're called rosary pouches, which is their primary use. I think they're gorgeous. I have several. I love them. They really are. And having Byzantine styled anything is worth having. It's true. But all these rosary pouches, we've got a lot of them at EWTN RC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and they're all very, very nice. Great for putting cash and, and uh, debit card rosaries, all sorts of things. See, it's interesting the way men and women are different, isn't yeah. it? You think about cash and mm. credit cards yeah. and Not I think about, about lipstick and powder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, I do want to recommend that you get out to EWTN's religious catalog and take a look at the varieties that are there. Um, there's one that I truly love. It's Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. But these images are, are beautiful as well. Uh, let me show you there's the crucifixion again. There's one of um, again. Mother Angelica as well. Oh, there is. There, there is. is. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. And that's exciting. So there you have it, friends, these beautiful pouches available for you at EWTN's Religious Catalog. You can go to EWTNRC.com. You can start your collection today. Look at these. These are beautiful. These are t-shirts. I love them because they are Queen of Heaven t-shirts. In Revelation chapter 12, Mary is described as a woman, the woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. This t-shirt shows a large image of a Mary symbol on the front and Mary standing on the earth and moon on the back. It comes in sizes small to extra large and in your choice of heather blue, this is the bay blue, so I'm going to show you this. Here's the bay blue or in the heather blue. Both are very, very appropriate for men and for women. And I can say that uh, these are great t-shirts because what do they do? They evangelize the faith. Why not be a walking billboard for Jesus? Why That's not be right. a walking billboard for his mother? So get on That's out right. there to EWTN's religious catalog and take a look at these. I'm thinking you are going to want to have one. Great for your children as well. Now, we have several ideas for First Holy Communion, which is coming up very, very soon. I have a First Holy Communion person coming up in my family this year. I want to show you this. This was a hit last year, and I'm so happy that we have it again this year. This is an absolutely beautiful, spectacular First Communion Svorsky wrap rosary bracelet. Little girl's eyes will light up as and sparkle as shiny as each of these crystals on this bracelet when they receive this lovely gift. It's heirloom quality. It's a wraparound rosary bra bracelet, and it's going to be a treasured keepsake of your little one's first Holy Communion. It's made with four millimeter tin cut diamond shaped Svorsky crystal Hail Mary beads and six millimeter Our Father beads strung on durable memory wire with a sterling silver miraculous metal and crucifix. There are no clasps to manage, so it's easy to remove when the child is ready to pray the rosary. It is so lovely, and I am sincerely hoping that the camera is picking up the way in which these crystals sparkle. They are 
beautiful, beautiful, and just the right size for a little girl who is seven or eight years old. Really do want to recommend that you consider this as a gift, a great gift for parents to give, for grandparents to give. It'll be a treasured item that your little girl will keep forever, and maybe even one day pass on to her little girl. We have another suggestion for you. And this particular suggestion is a heart necklace with a tiny crystal cross. This pretty necklace features a 16-inch adjustable chain with 20 tiny silver beads and a filigree heart with a pink crystal cross at the center. The heart measures approximately 3 quarters of an inch in height. Uh, it's very, very pretty. Uh, I can see here in studio the way in which the light catches the uh, crystal and the way in which it gleams is going to look beautiful on a little girl's throat. And may I say, ladies, this would look lovely uh, around your neck as well. Just beautiful ideas for you for First Holy Communion coming up, a day that everybody wants to commemorate and remember. Well, John, I have a possible First Holy Communion gift that I think would be very fitting for a young boy. Take a look at this Holy Eucharist sterling silver medal. This sterling silver pendant depicts a traditional style chalice surrounded by a large host with the letters IHS engraved on the front, representing the Holy Eucharist. The one inch pendant comes on an 18 inch rhodium plated chain with a clasp. It's very nice. Yeah, I think a little boy would be quite happy to wear that. I can just see him having it around his neck as he receives our Lord, body, blood, soul, and divinity for the very first time. Absolutely. There's no doubt about that. It would make a fantastic gift. So would um, having a First Communion wall crucifix. Take a look at these. Each solid wood crucifix features a pewter Italian corpus and a special Eucharistic medallion with the words, in remembrance of my first Holy Communion, around the edge and a host and chalice in the center. Each one measures six inches high. We have it available in your choice of white or black. Recently featured on EWTN Bookmark was the book, To Raise the Fallen, a selection of the war letters, prayers, and spiritual writings of Father Willie Doyle. Irish military chaplain Father Willie Doyle was killed in action in World War I, having been hit by a German shell while rushing to the aid of wounded soldiers trapped in no man's land. Those who knew Father Doyle testified to his heroic virtue. They witnessed his fearlessness in the face of enemy fire as he rescued the wounded, anointed the dying, and buried the dead. These writings reveal his remarkably deep faith and great humor. This book was compiled and edited by Dr. Patrick Kenny, who sat down with Doug Keck. This book is about a heroic Irish Jesuit military chaplain who died as a martyr of charity while saving wounded soldiers in the First World War. And I think it's interesting to people because he tells a story in his own words, in his own letters. But it's not just the story of his ex external activities, it's the story of his soul. Mm -hmm. Because we find out what was going on internally, what his spiritual motivations were, and about how his offering of himself in the war, and particularly how he accepted the sufferings of the war mm -hmm. in reparation for sins of priests, was the working out of his desire for holiness in his own life. Yeah, I mean, there are saints that have had a devotion to Father Doyle. Mother Teresa adopted mm -hmm. some of his spiritual practices. St. Jose Maria Escriva read a, a biography of him in Spanish in the 1930s, and he also wrote about Father Doyle. Finally, we have the DVD, Bravery Under Fire, an EWTN original docudrama about the service of Father Doyle. God called him to serve his country and the brave men and women defending it. His acts of compassion while living and courage in the face of death would go on to inspire thousands to call for his canonization. This DVD has a running time of 90 minutes. I think Willie Doyle sh should have got the, all the highest awards possible uh, for bravery, for going out once to bring a man back in uh, danger of his life. But he didn't do it once. He kept doing it over and over again, and prudent people around him told him, don't, don't do that, you're going to get killed. Father, wait until there. It's madness about that. You may not be alive tonight. Yeah, 
guard pardon you and what sins you have committed. Amen. Fire! Fire! What's your name, soldier? Ryan. Ryan. You're gonna be okay. I'm dumb, father. But I just wish for the peace that this blessed sacrament can give me. Do you reject sin as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Through this holy anointing and by his most tender mercy, may the Lord pardon you on what sins you have committed. And since we are celebrating the Feast of the Annunciation this week, it's a great time to pray for all unborn babies. Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen asked that people spiritually adopt unborn babies who are in danger of abortion and pray for them for nine months. If you started this practice at the Feast of the Annunciation, your nine months of prayer will end on Christmas Day. And who knows what our Lord can do with our prayers when they are that charitable and that intentional. And now here's a recap of the items that Jeanette and I showed you today, as well as information about how to order. The St. George etched glass Fabergé style egg is item number GE58 for $110. The set of six assorted Ukrainian Pysanki Easter eggs is item number 70126 for $24. The Ukrainian Easter basket with the resurrection icon is item number B7013 for $20. The Ukrainian Easter basket with mini icon is item number B7012 for $20. The green Easter basket with hand painted eggs is item number B7015 for $17. The Marian Religious Art Egg Wraps are item number EW19 for $2.50. The Religious Icon Egg Wraps are item number EW14 for just $2.50. The Holy Mass Association Pearl and Blue Bead Rosary is item number 558HF for $52. The Holy Mass Association Pearl and Red Bead Rosary is item number 557HF for $50. The Extreme Humility Tapestry Icon Rosary Pouch is item number TIP1 for $8. The Crucifixion Tapestry Icon Rosary Pouch is item number TIP2 for $8. The Queen of Heaven t-shirts, which come in either bay blue or heather blue, are item number QHT for $24.95. The First Communion Swarovski Wrap Rosary Bracelet is item number S4C for $50. The heart necklace with tiny crystal cross is item number NK134 for $17. The Holy Eucharist Sterling Silver Medal is item number S3804 for $37. The White First Communion Cross is item number 7537 for $30. The Black First Communion Cross is item number 7538 for $30. To Raise the Fallen, a selection of the War Letters, Prayers, and Spiritual Writings of Father Willie Doyle is item number 42565 for $18. The Bravery Under Fire DVD is item number HDBF for $15. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit us at EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Again, that's EWTNRC.com. Or you can call us at 
854-6316. Be sure to visit us at EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook, where you'll see more great offers like these. Hi friends, Janet Williams here for EWTN's Religious Catalog. I want to tell you about the greatest deal on the planet. It is the discounted price of this 16-month Saints calendar and daily planner for 2019. This daily planner presents 70 fascinating mini biographies and illustrations, one for each week, along with all of the feast days from both the ordinary and the extraordinary liturgical calendar. I want to tell you it's great for so very many reasons. I love it because here here I have an overview of the entire month, and here I have the days. And I want to share with you, you can also use this as a journal and write in these areas. Great for you. Get one. We have a fantastic suggestion for you here at EWTN Religious Catalog. We have this new Defending Christendom calendar, which has classic artwork depicting the many great historical contests for the Catholic faith up and down the centuries. Each calendar includes special feasts and fascinating Catholic traditions with marked days of fasting, saints feast days and Sundays of the liturgical year for both the ordinary and extraordinary calendar, as well as gorgeous artwork, meditations and prayers. The Defending Christendom calendar would be a great way to remind us that the Christian faith has always been fought for valiantly up and down the centuries and we are called to do the exact same today as soldiers of Christ. You can get this brand new calendar at EWTNRC.com. And remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. Make sure to join us next time on EWTN Religious Catalog when we show you even more holy reminders of our Catholic faith. Here are the air times. Friends, it's been great being with you again today as we've enjoyed showing you so many beautiful items available for you at EWTN's Religious Catalog. Until Ryan and I have the opportunity to spend time with you again, may the abundant life of Jesus Christ be yours and may you share his life with others. God bless you. Bye-bye now.